In the scientific history, few debates have been as intellectually stimulating and far-reaching as the epic showdown between Niels Bohr and Albert Einstein. These two titans of physics, each a genius in his own right, engaged in a decades-long intellectual duel over the interpretation of quantum mechanics, a revolutionary theory that governs the behavior of matter and energy at the atomic and subatomic levels. Their debates not only shaped the course of modern physics, but also raised profound philosophical questions about the nature of reality, causality, and the limits of human knowledge. Einstein, renowned for his theory of relativity, was a towering figure in the scientific community, his name synonymous with genius. Bohr, a pioneer in the development of quantum theory, was equally respected for his profound insights into the workings of the atom. Their paths crossed in the 1920s at a time when the very foundations of physics were being shaken by the emerging field of quantum mechanics. Classical physics, which had reigned supreme for centuries, proved inadequate to explain the strange and counterintuitive behavior of light and matter at the atomic level. The discovery of phenomena such as blackbody radiation and the photoelectric effect challenged the very core of classical physics, leading to the birth of quantum mechanics. One of the key figures in this revolution was Max Planck, who in 1900 proposed that energy was not emitted continuously, but rather in discrete packets called quanta. This radical idea, initially met with skepticism, laid the foundation for quantum theory and earned Planck the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1918. Einstein, ever the visionary, was among the first to recognize the significance of Planck's work. In 1905, he published a groundbreaking paper explaining the photoelectric effect, a phenomenon in which light shining on a metal surface causes the emission of electrons. Einstein proposed that light, traditionally considered a wave, could also behave as discrete packets of energy, later named photons, thus embracing the concept of wave-particle duality. Bohr, however, initially resisted the idea of light quanta. He found it difficult to reconcile the particle nature of light with its well-established wave-like behavior, as demonstrated by phenomena such as interference and diffraction. The development of quantum mechanics gained momentum in the 1920s, with physicists like Werner Heisenberg, Erwin Schrödinger, and Paul Dirac making significant contributions. Heisenberg's matrix mechanics and Schrödinger's wave mechanics provided elegant mathematical frameworks to describe the behavior of quantum systems, but they also introduced new levels of abstraction and a probabilistic interpretation of nature that Einstein found deeply unsettling. Central to the probabilistic interpretation of quantum mechanics was the uncertainty principle, formulated by Heisenberg in 1927. This principle states that it is impossible to simultaneously know with perfect accuracy both the position and momentum of a particle. The more precisely one quantity is measured, the more uncertain the other becomes. This inherent uncertainty, argued Bohr and his supporters, was not a limitation of our measuring instruments, but a fundamental aspect of nature itself. The uncertainty principle struck at the heart of classical physics which assumed that the state of a system could be precisely determined at any given time. Einstein, a staunch determinist, famously rejected this probabilistic view of nature, declaring, God does not play dice. He believed that quantum mechanics, while undoubtedly successful in its predictions, was incomplete, a mere stepping stone to a deeper theory that would restore determinism to physics. Einstein's skepticism of quantum mechanics was not merely philosophical. He devised a series of thought experiments aimed at demonstrating inconsistencies in the theory and highlighting the absurdity of its implications. One of Einstein's most famous thought experiments involved a box filled with radiation. The box has a small hole that can be opened and closed by a shutter controlled by a clock inside. By carefully weighing the box before and after a single photon escapes, Einstein argued, one could determine the energy of the photon with arbitrary accuracy seemingly violating the time-energy uncertainty principle. In another thought experiment, known as the photon box experiment, Einstein imagined a box containing a single photon bouncing back and forth between mirrors. 
He argued that by weighing the box, one could determine the photon's momentum with arbitrary accuracy, again seemingly violating the uncertainty principle. Bohr, never one to back down from an intellectual challenge, meticulously analysed each of Einstein's thought experiments, demonstrating that they did not, in fact, contradict the principles of quantum mechanics. He pointed out subtle flaws in Einstein's reasoning, often involving overlooked aspects of the experimental setups or the fundamental limitations imposed by the uncertainty principle itself. For instance, in the case of the radiation-filled box, Bohr argued that the act of weighing the box would introduce an uncertainty in its position, which, due to the uncertainty principle, would translate into an uncertainty in the time at which the photon escaped. This uncertainty in time, in turn, would introduce an uncertainty in the measured energy of the photon, thus upholding the time-energy uncertainty principle. Despite Bohr's convincing rebuttals, Einstein remained unconvinced. In 1935, he co-authored a paper with Boris Podolsky and Nathan Rosen, known as the EPR paradox, which presented a more sophisticated challenge to the completeness of quantum mechanics. The EPR paradox centred on the concept of entanglement, a bizarre quantum phenomenon in which two particles become linked, their fates intertwined even when separated by vast distances. The EPR paradox argued that if quantum mechanics were complete, it would lead to a violation of the principle of locality, which states that an event cannot instantaneously influence another event at a distance. This seemingly paradoxical implication, argued Einstein, Podolsky and Rosen, suggested that quantum mechanics must be incomplete, missing some hidden variables that would restore locality and determinism to physics. The Bohr-Einstein debates transcended the realm of pure physics, delving into the very nature of reality and the limits of human knowledge. Bohr, embracing the probabilistic interpretation of quantum mechanics, argued that the act of measurement inextricably linked the observer and the observed, making it impossible to speak of an objective reality independent of the observer. Einstein, clinging to his belief in an objective reality, found this view deeply unsettling. He believed that a complete physical theory should be able to describe the world as it is, independent of our observation of it. The EPR paradox, in his view, exposed the incompleteness of quantum mechanics and its failure to provide a satisfactory description of reality. 